What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. Many of you may have seen my Windex setup video, which is where I showed how to set up Windows 11 on the Steam Deck by itself. And in that video, I showed the Steam OS user interface working within Windows. And rather than include the instructions on how to set that up in that video, which was already quite long, I decided to create a separate video to show how to set up the Steam OS user interface in Windows. So this is that video. We'll take a look at some of the features, see what it does, what it doesn't do, go over how to set it up and give you some tips for how to use this with SWICD on the Steam Deck. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So Valve has essentially released a new beta client for their Steam launcher, which gives us the ability to run the SteamOS user interface within Windows. You can do this on Steam Deck and you can also do this on your PC. Now, before you get too excited, this is just a beta and all other features are not yet functional. And it does appear that this is more of like a stripped down version of the SteamOS user interface. In other words, not all of the functions and the features are available in this user interface, such as the ability to control frame rate or control TDP. But there are a good amount of features here that look like they will be available at some point. Some of these are not yet working, for example, the ability to control brightness or audio um, with, from this user interface are not yet working, but it looks like it will work at some point. I have also seen a few projects in the works, which are going to give us the ability to control frame rate, resolution, and TDP within Windows. So for those who are looking to completely replace SteamOS with Windows on their Steam Deck, it looks like it's only a matter of time before we will have all of those same features for Windows running on the Steam Deck. All in all, I think it's really cool that Valve has made this available as well as, you know, providing drivers to work with Windows. It just shows that they're not really too concerned with what you do with your Steam Deck. Use it the way you want. It is a PC. Install whatever operating system you want on it as long as you're using a Steam Deck. And I've heard also that they will make SteamOS available for other portable handhelds as well. So I really like what they've done with this. And, you know, unlike other companies, which really try to lock you into a certain ecosystem and setting this up is actually quite easy. When you're in Steam, you just want to go to where it says Steam, go down to settings, and then you're going to look for account. And then right here, it says beta participation. You're going to choose change. And then you're going to select Steam Beta Update and then click OK. After that, you will be prompted to restart Steam. It's going to update. And then once it's done updating, it will relaunch Steam again. And then once Steam has relaunched, what we're going to want to do here is just go ahead and exit out of Steam. We're just going to close it completely. And then we're going to find the Steam icon on the desktop. We're going to right click on it and then go to properties. And then right here where it says target we're going to put a space and then after that we're going to put a, a dash and then write gamepad ui all one word and then click apply it's going to ask you for permission and then click ok and then now we can go back into steam and we will have the new steam os user interface and if you want to undo this, all you have to do is just do everything we just did in the reverse order, go into properties, remove gamepad UI, and then roll back from the beta to the stable or the regular steam client. And then you'll be right back to where you were. 
All right, so here we are. We are in the SteamOS user interface. And really, it's just that simple. Now, one thing for those who are using SWICD for controller support for games outside of Steam, when you are in Steam using this user interface, you're gonna wanna pause the driver. Otherwise, you will get double inputs in Steam. Also, when you're playing games outside of Steam, you're gonna wanna make sure that Steam is closed. Otherwise, you will get double inputs in your games outside of Steam. Using this setup, I had to go into SWICD and reconfigure my settings because with Steam closed, if you have lizard mode disabled, then you're gonna notice that your mouse will stop working. So I had to go into SWICD and set up profiles for games for the various games that I play outside of Steam, such as Overwatch and Call of Duty. And in those profiles, I have lizard mode disabled, but in the default profile, I have lizard mode enabled. To create a profile for a game, all you have to do is just find the EXE for that game. So for example, here, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, I found the EXE, I added it, and then I created a specific profile just for Call of Duty. And I did the same thing for Overwatch and so forth. And here you can see my button mappings, how I have it all set up here for Call of Duty. And you can see the keyboard mappings here. I have the Steam button mapped to M and that way I can toggle the frame counter. And I also have the three dot button mapped to the left windows key. And what's really important is that you have lizard mode disabled by checking these two boxes here. And that way you won't have double inputs when you're in game. So, but for the default profile, which is what I use when I'm just moving around on the desktop, I have lizard mode enabled, and this is with Steam closed. So we don't have to have Steam open to use our controls within the desktop. We can have Steam closed, but you wanna make sure you have lizard mode enabled and then just have it disabled for your game profiles. I know all of this can sound a little bit confusing. So if you guys do have questions or need help with this, hit me up in Discord. I'm over there all the time answering questions, helping people out. So if you guys need any kind of guidance setting this up, feel free to hit me up over there. I did play around with this quite a bit to get this to work properly because I was having a double input issue with this new user interface. So now I'm launching back into Steam. As you'll see, I'm gonna pause the SWICD driver before I open Steam. All right, here we are back in the Steam user interface. Let's go ahead and launch a game just so you can see how it looks. And I'll show you that we do not have any double input issues. We'll go ahead and launch into Gotham Knights. And you can see that the frame counter has appeared in the top left-hand corner of the screen. It is a little small, but yes, it is there. And that's actually a feature that's been in the Steam uh, client for a while. So that's not really anything new, but for those who are wanting to have a frame counter when they play Steam games in Windows, there you go. I prefer the other frame counter that I use, which is much larger and easier to read, but you do have this available. All right, so we're logging in. All right, and here we are. 
we are in Gotham Knights. We'll just make sure that we don't have any double inputs here. And you can see I'm able to move up and down the menu without any double inputs. Now what double inputs would look like is you would see, yeah, it wouldn't be able to go line by line. It would actually skip lines as you're moving up and down the menu. So if we had SWICD enabled right now, it would be skipping past some of these options and with it paused, we don't have that problem. So there you go. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that like button and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos like this. We're out of here, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.